It's Friday morning English class. And again, for the Friday classes, I will post them on Thursday afternoon so you can get a jump start on them. Today, we're going to take our predicates and subjects and work on them a little bit more. On Wednesday, we worked on our complete subjects. We looked for the whole who or what. On Thursday, we worked on our whole predicates the action word plus the rest of the sentence. And most often with your predicates, it's gonna start with your action word, okay? So today we're gonna to review our sentences down below and then we're gonna go through them a second time. The first time, actually we'll go through four times. Um, the first time we're gonna go through, we're going to look for the complete subject the whole who or what, okay? So, the brown dog ran around the yard. Who or what? The brown, whoops, gotta get the right, right one. The brown dog. Bobby threw the football. Who? Bobby. Haley cooked a delicious dinner. Who? Haley. The slow snail crawled across the room. Who or what? The slow snail. So now we have our complete subjects. Now let's go, let's grab another color, okay? And let's look for our complete predicate. Remember our predicate starts with an action word and then we go to the end of the sentence. The subject is the brown dog. What did the brown dog do? ran around the yard. Bobby, what did Bobby do? Threw the football. What did Haley do? Cooked a delicious dinner. What did the slow snail do? Crawled across the room. So right now I have, whoops, let's do yellow. Right now I have the whole or the complete subject in blue, the complete predicate in red. Now let's go back to the subject and now we want this simple subject, the main important word that's only going to be one. So if I look at the brown dog, who or what? Dog. Bobby threw the football. Who? That one's pretty easy because there's only one word there. Same with Haley. That's my simple subject. The slow snail, the slower snail. What's the important one? What answers who or what? Snail does. So we're narrowing it down to the simple subject, the simple predicate, okay? So let's find another color real quick. Okay, let's look at our predicate. Ran around the yard. I want the action word. The simple predicate is the action word. So what did the dog do? The dog ran. Bobby threw the football. What word is the action word? Threw. Haley cooked a delicious dinner. What did Haley do? What's the action word? She cooked. The slow snail crawled across the room. What did the snail do? What action crawled? So today we are going from the complete subjects and predicates to what are called simple subjects and predicates. And you only want one word for the simple subject or the simple predicate. Remember with the predicate, it's going to be the action word. So I hope you understand. If you have questions again, please be sure you call me or text me or message me on Edmodo and I'll be happy to help you. Um, you will be going to IXL and doing um, lesson I4. Yes, lesson I, or I'm sorry. JJ4. Lesson JJ4. Okay? Um, have a great day.